Welcome to Super Comics Challenge, the game show where cartoonists match wits and pencils. And here is your host, Jersey Droz. Hi there. Thank you for watching Super Comics Challenge, the game show where we pit the most exciting people in comics against each other in various drawing challenges. My name is Jersey Droz. I'm a cartoonist and teaching artist with artist, which is to say a person who makes comics and then teaches people how to make comics. And for the next 30 minutes, you're going to be watching a bunch of fun, different drawing games. Uh, and to help me navigate these fun games is my co-host slash commentator. Uh, big round of applause for Jarrett Krasoska. <laughs> Jarrett Krasoska celebrated... Kidlet author of many children's books, graphic novels, comics, uh, YA books. I mean, uh, I guess the place to look for you is at uh, studiojjk.com. Uh, you want to just name a few of the books that you're, you've done over the years? Uh, uh, the Lunch Lady graphic novel series. I worked on a bunch of the Jedi Academy titles and Hey Kiddo, which is my young adult graphic novel. And you are the host of a awesome youtube series draw every day with jjk well thank you yes yes i a whole bunch of uh, drawing tutorials hours upon hours of uh art lessons or as we say here in massachusetts art lessons <laughs> you know having read hey kiddo i i do notice that the characters in the book which is it's an autobiographical book uh they call you ja how is that pronounced in the yeah ja. ja. okay yeah jared <laughs> that was a big thing, you know, where where we I wondered about how to how to spell that because I knew that in different geographical regions they might not truly understand that you know my name pronounced by my grandparents in Worcester would be Jarrett. Jarrett. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah. folks from the West Coast thought it was Ja. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but what's crazy is we got to do an audiobook and what the audiobook could do which the print book couldn't do which was which get, would give that authentic accent. That's true. I was, that was what I was going to mention. So if I, had I listened to the audiobook, I would know this. So, uh, which you could also get uh, studiojjk.com. So, uh, we've got some other some great cartoonist contestants here to meet. So, Jarrett, would you like to uh, take the wheel and introduce us to who we're playing with today? Yes, let's head down to Austin, Texas to say hi to John Garrett. John? Hi. <laughs> now, uh, how's, how is it out there in, in Austin, Texas right now? Is it what, like 75 degrees or? 175 degrees, yes. <laughs> oh, is that Celsius? <laughs> John, what is your favorite comic strip character of all time? Oh, oh. Uh, Scrooge McDuck. Nice, nice choice, <laughs> nice choice. Excellent, well, let's head over to uh, let's head over to Cleveland and let's say hi to Sequoia Bostic. Hey, how's it going? It's going great, Sequoia. How are you? And uh, it, what is your most favorite thing to draw, Sequoia? Like your favorite thing? Like it's coming up in a comic, you get to draw this, and you're so excited. Uh, I really like drawing facial expressions. So whenever there's a panel where it's like a shocked face or just a face close up, I really enjoy drawing those. Nice, nice. I, you know, I feel the same way. I feel the same way. So from Cleveland, let's head over to Michigan to say hello to Chloe Cordero. Hi, Chloe. How are you? Um, just because I'm a kid, I don't want no cheats. <laughs> I want it to be fair. And I want to be, um, I want to, <laughs> I just want, I don't want no cheats because, um, I just want it to be fair because if I'm a kid, doesn't mean you should treat me nice like everybody else. Well, Chloe, I, th I <laughs> thought I thought we were gonna just take it easy on you because you know you're you're going up against these who adults. Who cares about who... that? I'm a kid. That doesn't mean anything. I want to be treated fair. Oh, okay. Well, well, John and Sequoia, the the uh, gauntlet has been thrown. <laughs> All right. Jersey, over to you. All right. Thank you, Jared. Uh, yes, Chloe Codero is not here to mess around. So let's see how they do in the first challenge. This first challenge is going to require some random shapes. And so in order to do the random shapes, uh, what I want you to do is I will I will actually, uh, on the game board, I'm, I'm going to do some drawing. 
but I'm going to ask you to actually do some drawing in a moment. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to draw a closed shape, but a completely random one. So it could be any shape you want, like so, but it must be a closed contour, okay? Like so. But here's the trick. John, you're going to draw the random shape on Sequoia's block. Sequoia, you're going to draw the random shape on Chloe's block. And Chloe, you're going to draw, uh, draw the random shape on John's block. Are you ready? Go. And then we'll get to what the challenge is afterwards once you've drawn your random shapes. <laughs> Ooh, maybe made that too big. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that tiny shape. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> Again. Whoa. Chloe is, 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 here, oh is here to play. All right, so now the challenge is everybody's going to return to their own block, and you will have one minute and 30 seconds to turn that shape into a thing. It can be anything you want, but here's the only rule. You can add, you cannot subtract. So you can add to the shape, but you cannot erase anything from the original shape, and you'll have one minute and 30 seconds. When the music starts, you will go. Are you ready, contestants? Yeah. Yes. Ready, set, go. Now, what could John possibly do with that tiny little shape that Chloe? <laughs> oh, I see. So Chloe is going for the teeth, right for the teeth. Chloe is making a snake. Chloe <laughs> is finding uh, that inner energy and letting it be known to all that she is not here to play. And then John has a Halloween on the mind with the ghost there. Uh, we are in the middle of summer, but <laughs> there will be Halloween candy in supermarket aisles soon enough. Should you go to supermarkets in this moment? <laughs> One minute to go. One minute to go. You all finished those really early. You weren't planning on having so much time. <laughs> Which is fair enough because cartoonists typically aren't good with time management. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right. John is adding even more ghosts and horrors. <laughs> Sequoia is going in a direction that I did not expect, nor do I know where exactly she's going. Oh, and Chloe's snake has evolved and is now a multi confused dragon with a lot of arms and claws and maybe is a little confused. And um, suddenly Sequoia's is the most disturbing one here. Uh, I'm not quite <laughs> sure what. Uh, <laughs> what is going on there? Um, <laughs> and that's time pens down contestants so now I'll hand it back over to Jarrett to interview the different contestants and see what they were up to well let's let's start with Sequoia because I, I do have some questions about could you just let us tell us a little bit about your piece <laughs> okay so my piece is a snarky kid laughing hysterically at something that he just did so he's probably bullying someone <laughs> ah, I see. So that arm belongs to that face. Yeah. Gotcha. He's like gotcha. going, ah, ha, 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 ha. Uh, I see. So <laughs> Chloe has got into your head there, I think. <laughs> let's, let's move over to Chloe. Sweet little Chloe in Michigan. <laughs> Chloe, tell us about your piece. Well, the snake that um got at least four arms i think i don't know um and i don't know <laughs> so, t so tell us about tell us about that moment when you said well this was a snake but now i'm going to give it claws tell us about what was going on in your mind in that moment why can't it have claws mm. <laughs> <laughs> very good very good moving down to john in austin texas john uh <laughs> chloe handed you a, a tiny little pebble and you pushed that pebble up that mountaintop and created a boulder tell us tell us about your choices well the tiny shape made me terrified so i started thinking terrified ghosts so i went in that direction <laughs> And then you realize you had a minute left, so you draw some more ghosts. <laughs> yes, just kept adding until time ran out. Excellent. Jersey, over to you. All right. Well, we have three awesome entries into this round. Let's see how the audience feels. We're going to turn over to the audience, and we're going to vote with shouts and applause. 
Let's hear it for Sequoia Bostic. <laughs> Not bad. Sequoia with a strong following. And let's hear it for Chloe Cordero. <laughs> oh, the youth crowd is after Chloe Cordero. Let's hear it for John David Guerra. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we have any spooky horror fans in the audience. Something to bear in mind as we progress through the game. So it looks like for this round, it goes to Sequoia Bostic. <laughs> All right. So time for round two. For round two, this round is called Insectimals, where we're actually going to be merging animals or mammals with insects. And before we start, Whoa. contestants, please clear your boards. And I, while you clear the boards, I'm going to ask you an important question. I want each of you to choose for yourself your preference for the following two words. Nasty or nice? So, starting with Chloe. Chloe, do you prefer the word nasty or nice? Um, let's try nasty. <laughs> nasty. That comes as no surprise. <laughs> Chloe gets nasty. John, what do you choose between nasty or nice? Uh, let's go nasty also. Nasty. And finally, Sequoia? It's going to be a nasty for me too. All right. Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a nasty round. All right. So for this round, you're going to take that emotion word, nasty, and you are going to create a character out of two, an well, two creatures, a, a, a mammal and an insect. And so, Sequoia, we polled the audience and asked them what you should get for this round, and they voted for a whale and a bee. You have to combine a okay. whale and a bee, and it has to be nasty. For okay. John David, John David Guerra, you got an anteater and an ant. So an ant was also an ant eater. <laughs> so, somebody saw what? your ghosts and they said, this is the person to do the most disturbing drawing of the day. And <laughs> for Chloe, you have a cat and a fly. So a cat fly. But remember, it has to be a nasty cat fly. Does anybody need me to repeat what your creatures are? No. Okay, this is for one point. Sequoia has one point. John and Chloe have zero. So for one point, you're going to create an insectimal, and it's got to be nasty. When the music starts, start drawing. Ready, set, go. Uh, Jersey, I, I had a question about the music while they're drawing. Yeah. Uh, I, I was under the saying that, that the Super Comics Challenge had cleared the rights for uh, to play Nasty by Janet Jackson. Was, was that not the case? <laughs> <laughs> the, the call is still pending on that one and okay. you know I, I i picked this music thinking everybody was going to choose nice but instead they all chose nasty so now we have we have our first ironic round in the super comics <laughs> challenge otherwise you would have had nasty by janet jackson queued up because i would have i would have done the choreography in this limited space i have but i can't unless i have the music that's mr krasaska if you're nasty <laughs> mr. Krasaska, if you can pronounce it <laughs> All right, here, let's see. I was not paying attention to what Jersey was telling them. Uh, <laughs> it was completely faded out in that moment. Uh, so it looks like we have a, uh, which is probably a good challenge to see if I can tell what they are doing. So Koya, I'm gonna guess that is a, uh, and maybe that's better. You should put the, the person in the soundproof booth. Uh, looks like maybe a whale <laughs> that either is having a hemorrhoid problem or has a stinger. <laughs> And I'm going to go over to John, and I'm going to guess that um, that is an aardvark with indigestion. <laughs> I'm going to go up to Chloe's, and uh, that is uh, possibly a, um, a, a, a winged creature, winged in like a, like a, like a, is it a fly and a cat? Oh my! Cat. All right, time um, is up. Speaking of which, yeah. fly cat, did you did you also clear opposites attract by Paul Abdul and MC <laughs> Scat Cat? Because this would be every time you throw that in. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no. Jared, you just got promoted to executive producer on this. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is time. So let let us go around the horn and see if everybody can defend their choices. Jared, okay, let's uh, let's start with Chloe. Chloe. Uh, tell us, uh, remind us again of, of the two creatures you had. 
cat and a fly. And, um, you know, um, Godzilla? Well, this I've is, heard of him, yes. Yes, this is Flatzilla, a fly mixed in with a cat and um, is in New York City scaring off <laughs> tiny little fleas that live there. Nice. <laughs> Except nice. they became mutant fleas, so that's why they're pretty big. <laughs> Maybe they could be a cross between fleas and mice, which would be perfect yeah. for both predators. <laughs> <laughs> Heading down to John and Austin. Dad, remind us about your two creatures. Uh, ant eater and an ant. Oh, wow. That is a conflict of interest. <laughs> yeah, what a painful existence. It's <laughs> a lot of self-hatred there. And Sequoia, Sequoia uh, does your will need uh, medication or could, is there a certain insect that? Uh, certainly. <laughs> it's probably also allergic to itself. So... A bee? It Was it a bee? Yeah, it was a bee. Yes. A bee and a wind. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Oh, and I, I love that you use, it's kind of like, it's a flower, but it also looks like the whale coming back down on the water and splashing. Yeah, I figured if it were to be anything, it would definitely plop onto things, no matter what it is. <laughs> very nice, very nice. And it's ah. remaining hydrated, as we can tell by the blue hole shooting out all the water. <laughs> yes. Always important during summer. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, another strong round from all contestants. So let's turn it over to the audience to see who votes for whom. First up, let's hear for Chloe Cordero and the fly cat. Not bad. And Sequoia Bostic and the whale, the whale bee. Again, strength from the youth oh audience. And... <laughs> Finally, for John David Guerra and the tragic, tragic uh, ant eater slash ant. Whoa! A little bit of extra oomph for John David Guerra this round. It sounds like he takes the round. So we've got a point for Sequoia Bostic and a point for John David Guerra. Can Chloe come in in the third round and take it? Because contestants please clear your boards probably we entering... not because she's just a kid <laughs> who cares about that adults, I don't... adults care <laughs> what why should i even listen to them <laughs> man this adult doesn't care this adult will welcome you into any drawing circle that's like <laughs> that voice is just like three leather jackets and four pairs of sunglasses i swear uh <laughs> all right so for the final round this one is the toughest one, and that's why it's for two points, because this round is a sound design round where you are going to hear a sound, and you have to design what that sound looks like. You're not drawing what's making the sound. You're drawing the letters and shapes and colors that make the sound. Now, this is one of my, my favorite topics because it's so abstract and it's so strange. In comics, in sound design, you have to figure out the onomatopoeia how to spell the sound so it looks like what the sound sounds like. Then you have to think about the second layer is how to draw shapes of letters that look like the sound quality. So, for instance, fa something falling softly into a pillow is going to have a different shape than the sound of a bowling ball hitting concrete, right? And then the third one, this is where it gets weird, what color is that sound? What's the color of tires screeching? What's the color of a rooster crowing? What's the color of water dripping, right? It's a toughie. So that's why it's for two points. So in other words, this is a winner-take-all situation. If Chloe wins, she'll take the game. But if Sequoia gets it or John gets it, they will sweep it with a, with a rollicking three points. So are you ready? And if none of you get it, I win. <laughs> <That Jared wins. laughs> and I should say, what are we playing for? This is important. So here is the prize today. It is a 1991 Transformers MicroMaster Transformer, a yellow Lamborghini who turns into a robot. Everybody wants one. I want so, one. Yes, we all, we all do. So that's why we're all going to do our very best today to win this round, okay? So um, if the contestants are ready, I will play you each of your sounds. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so for all the marbles, Chloe, here is your sound. Listen carefully. Do you need me to play that again, Chloe? No. <laughs> you know what that was. Okay. I think my dogs are barking. <laughs> <laughs> For Sequoia, listen carefully. Okay. Woo! 
Do you need me to play that again? <laughs> yes. Woo! <laughs> that is your sound. And right. for John David Guerra, here's your sound. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Can I hear that again? Is today's show sponsored by that throat <laughs> lozenge? Did that deal come through? <laughs> no? no I'm afraid not. All right, John, did you get did you catch your sound? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So for all the points to, to win the game, here's the final round. So I will play the final round music. And if you do an especially good job, I will give you a bonus extra minute and thirty seconds. Ready, set, go. You know what would be another good song to get in? The Sound of Silence. Let's work on getting the rights to that for this part. <laughs> Those are probably super easy to clear. Oh, oh for sure. Oh, sh not another, <laughs> not another note. It's they'll, they'll come to us. <laughs> YouTube is a, is the, the what is that? The, it's a litigious oh, bunch, right. YouTube. <laughs> Don't worry, it was only six seconds, I promise. There are a lot of different ideas going on right here, Jers. Yeah, I am curious oh. what Chloe's up to. There's there's a lot of focus on that face. Oh, I so Chloe's instantly going for the uh, opposite colors, uh, oh, yellow and purple. Is that okay? <laughs> I I don't know. I guess so. Yeah, no, because Jersey asked about the sound. I was paying attention for sure the second time <laughs> after I realized I didn't the last time. <laughs> I had so a nightmare about this, doing <laughs> sound effects and being judged by Jersey. <laughs> hey, it's not me. It's the audience who's going to choose, John. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll click my tongue, but yes, it's the audience who ultimately decides who captures the sound the most effectively. Um, John has written yodel. <laughs> oh, no. Yodel. Oh, no. Yod yodle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and that was that was your first minute and a half. I'm giving you a bonus minute and a half, and it's going to be the most epic of all. Here it comes. Oh, man. Chloe has thrown in the extra layer of the Krasoska pets barking in the background. <laughs> no one expected that. <laughs> Clearly. Chloe has done twice the work than John and Sequoia. Clearly. She wants this more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> and um, John, uh, everything okay down there? Yeah. You good? I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> have you remained hydrated throughout this challenge? <laughs> I have not. I'm just making conversation. Uh, so no I, particular reason. Out. And look at that. Sakoya has been adding layers and layers and layers. <laughs> Oh, is that Ric Flair in Sequoia's <laughs> corner? Oh, a young Ric Flair. This is like the Ric Flair origin story when he was Ricky Flair. 20 <laughs> seconds on the clock. <laughs> All right. Now that you have 10 seconds left, remember Jersey asked you about the color of the sound. Mm -hmm. And I see Chloe knocking that out of the park. And pens Which down, so contestants. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Whew, shake it out. Shake it out, everybody. <laughs> wow. That was a tough round. All right, Jared, <laughs> let's see. Let's see how everybody did. Deep breaths, deep breaths. <laughs> let's, go, let's go straight to, to John. Uh, could you please say to me the words that you wrote on your screen? <laughs> Uh, yodale, yodale. Hmm. Valiant effort, valiant effort. I'm not sure about the spelling of the onomatopoeia, but I am with you on, on the feel of the line work. <laughs> and, and, and let's go over to Sequoia. Sequoia, what was the sound that you had again? Woo! 
uh, I'm going to break out my inner copy editor on you. And that technically would be spelled W H O O O. What you have written is woo. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> or chew. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go. let's go over to chloe chloe uh remind me of, remind us all of your sounds well it was a um doorbell oh no no please make the sound for us <laughs> if, uh... Ding dong. <laughs> nice nice that and i i i you know what chloe uh you're you're a uh, you're a kid who who's who stood up and grabbed your pencil and drew along with the uh, professionals here, the adults. And I got to tell you, uh, I'm impressed. You have you have won me over with your 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 spunk and your determination. But it's not up to me, is it, Jersey? Yeah, it's up to the audience. Let's hear it for the different competitors. Let's hear it for John, David, Guerra. <laughs> oh. Polite audience, polite. Yeah, they're giving you an A for effort, pal. And let's hear it for Sequoia Bostick. They, they dig the Ric Flair. I had to open the window so you could hear it. And let's hear it for Chloe Cordero. <laughs> and look, Chloe, all of the older people were supporting the kids. <laughs> As were the dinosaurs and the penguins. Oh my goodness. Everybody is so excited about what Chloe did today. What I love about this audience is their willingness to cosplay. Totally. <laughs> so it sounds to me like Chloe Cordero took the round and thereby getting two points and winning the game. So Chloe, I will be mailing you your MicroMaster Transformer. Okay. Uh, too sweet. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Okay. So uh, thanks everybody for playing today, and congratulations to Chloe Cardero. So let's take a quick uh, round to uh, look at everybody's. We can find out more about where to find these amazing contestants. So, uh, how about I pull up on screen the websites while we talk about Chloe? Where can we find more about you? Um. At ChloeCordero.com. What will we find there? Well, you will find um, they're mainly, I don't know why, but I mainly put on all the ones that are um, <laughs> work in progress except RoboCat's Future in Italy. But the Cat Tales one is just um, short stories of these three cats that go on adventures. So it's just a collection of them. The worst mm. subs ever is about what happened in fifth grade of all these very mean subs. Subs as in substitute teachers? Yes, they're very mean. <laughs> <laughs> they can be, yes. One wanted to throw a brick at somebody. Oh my goodness. Because oh he interrupted in class. <laughs> That's a mean sub. So you can find those at ChloeCordero.com. Yes. Thank you, Chloe. And then Sequoia Bostic, where can we find more about you? Uh, so you can check out my website, uh, sequoiabosticart.com. My store is there as well. So I have a, a few comics and some stickers and stuff for sale. Um, but also, if you're interested in reading anthologies, I run Vagabond Comics. It's an all-ages anthology, and we open up submissions like once or twice a year. Our newest issue just came out, uh, 2020, issue 12. So go check that out. VagabondComics.StoreNV.com. Thank you, Sequoia, for playing today. And John David Guerra, you do a, a marvelous comic called Nightmare Pro Wrestling. Can you tell us about it? Uh, yeah, it's uh, pro wrestling monsters uh, battling to make a, an impact in the ring and become the next Nightmare Pro Wrestling champion. Uh, we update every Wednesday with uh, comics. Right now, we're in an intermission phase. And uh, we hired... Um, different artists for every match. Um, uh, Jersey was one of them. Yeah, I, I drew the uh, first match, actually. Yeah, Graven Lobo versus the Pumpkin Boys. That was a fun comic to work on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we do, uh, we're still doing uh, intermissions like uh, till the next comic book starts on the, this month on the 22nd, which will be the next match mm. with uh, 
a wrestler called Bibi Lagoon, who's like a creature from the Black Lagoon type character. And there we go. And uh, and Moxie, who's like a, uh, what is it? A rockabilly vampire. <laughs> oh, and, I love uh, the sides. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nightmareprowrestling.com. Thank you, John. And let's give a round of applause for our commentator, Jared Krasowska. Jersey, can we can we do the sitcom freeze frame that we practice? <laughs> yes. All right, I'll pull up your Yes. Oh, back to back, like so. Yep. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Kazaska uh, of Studio JJK.com and the Draw Every Day with JJK. Thank you, Jarrett, for being Thank a part you. of this, too. This is a lot of fun. So thanks, everybody, for watching the show. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, I've been Jersey Drozd of, uh, well, I guess jdrozd.com and uh, the Super Comics Challenge. Okay, bye. Promotional consideration provided by the Ann Arbor Art Center at annarborartcenter.org and the Kids Read Comics organization at kidsreadcomics.org. I'm Rob Stenzinger, and this has been Super Comics Challenge.